Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Germany. Uh, last time we were at war with, well, quite literally everybody at this point. Uh, we chewed through the devilish lands. I really wish I could get my fucking units out of there. Come on guys, there are 67 units still there. But anyway, I'm going to leave the European continent and invade, well, to be quite honest with you, Belize, because Belize has had it too good for too long. Of course, though, I'm going to first uh, throw my units into uh, there, so let's, well, I'm really actually down on units. Hmm. We're going to take all of them out, well, as many as we possibly can. Out, 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 everybody out. Out into the world. You need it. You deserve it. Alright, so now that they're all out into the world, before they all, just those, I want all of them to go here. And that's going to freeze the game, as I thought it might. Uh, moving close to 1,000 units tends to do that. I'm also going to see transport those guys to the same location. I wonder if the game's actually just going to freeze forever, or if it's actually going to try and catch up with itself. I'm not sure how it's going to plan on doing that. also don't know why these guys are like this. It's like 50 units. Spike captured. So the... <laughs> So the game froze. I managed to freeze it. I see there are a couple of things moving once in a while. Wow, okay. That's one thing I've noticed that the uh, Supreme Ruler engine in all of the games has never been able to handle is mass movement of troops, which, in all honesty, is something it should be able to handle considering it is, well, a game that involves massive, massive invasions of areas. So, I figured something like that would actually to be expected, but apparently not. So, we're going to invade Belize, and there's a very simple reason, actually. Are we going to invade Belize? No, we're going to invade Honduras. There's a very obvious reason why we're going to do this, because we're going to immediately invade since El Salvador and Guatemala, invade Mexico, and then invade the United States of America. So long as all of these fucking boats manage to get here. Holy shit, look at them all. My god. Mass ship movement is... well, it's on the march. Uh, get out. You guys attack. Actually, how many of you are there? I'd like you guys to go there. Because we're going to declare war. We are now at a state of war. I need you guys to transport there. As a matter of fact, I need all of you! To transport there. Congratulations, you've been recruited. Yeah, no, we don't. All boats. We head there. How are we doing? Well, wise, we're still pretty low. Basically, just we're just not producing anything at all. Apparently, we did build a whole bunch of oil in uh, in Russia somewhere. I'm not a hundred percent sure where I started to build those. Again, not sure why there's a whole ton of fucking military complexes either. I did start to build those though. I I do believe somewhere. Uh, Wait, or did I start to build them down here? Yes, down here. That would be smarter, wouldn't it? Eh. Very agonizingly slowly have started to build. These ones here, they're kind of building one at a time. Very slowly, like I said before. Send those units off. Now you fucking dumb shit. And also, no, you dumb shits. 
is a full-scale invasion, everybody. That means everybody's on board or nobody is. All those guys can flow through there. And we will take their capital by completely over-fucking... Just destroying them completely. Is how we'll apparently manage that. All troops immediate. All troops immediate movement. What the answer there? 270. I'm going to immediately declare war. Also, for those who ask how the fuck I do the uh, supply runs, do you see the color? That is supply. You see how there's none here? That means there's no supply. Uh, you can turn this on down in here with map supply overlay. Click on that, it'll show you where you have your supply. If there are no supply there, th your troops aren't going to fucking move. That's just a basic fact. So, if you have map supply on and you're still like, though, why can't I fucking supply? That, that's because there's no fucking color there. There's still, if there's color there and your troops are still running out, you probably have an issue with oil. Such as I do. It sucks, yeah, but shit happens, brah. Um, you have no oil, you have to wait for your troops longer to refuel, and they won't just be a constant stream of death. They'll be a slowly moving stream of death. Um, also, for military units, military goods are excruciatingly needed um, for this. You, you just, you need, it's a basic fact. And you can see all the red there and all that shit. They're like, you know, we're out of fucking fuel. We've also lost a couple of units. Because we're stupid. Uh. Attack the capital with all of our might and death and destruction and murder. Guatemala's gonna be a lot easier than this, I hope. And you can see that the Mexicans are really getting antsy. I think we'll make it as far as Mexico in this episode. Will we take Mexico? Probably not. Well, yeah, probably not. Mexico actually has units that are fueled and actually worthwhile. Whereas most of my units are just, well, shit. And also fuelless. However, I do believe Mexico has some fuel. Yeah, they do. Will it help me? Probably not. Come on, guys. Come on. I couldn't destroy them already. See, we have a massive fuel crisis, which really sucks, because that means my units never fucking move. Also, we have, like, no rubber. Rubber, apparently. We got a really big stock of rubber. Holy fuck. I don't exactly know how we're down in rubber, but whatever. And how, we, how is this a small crisis? We're producing way more than we fucking use. This is obviously a crisis, because, well, we need a shit ton of stuff, but... Wow, our economy's tanking. Uh, economy. Expense. Taxation's really high. Social spending is basically nothing. Hmm. Come on, guys. Fuck. Take over El San Salvador the second. We have them completely by the ropes, it's just the fact that our fucking units have no fuel, and there's no way for them to obtain any fucking fuel. You. See, we destroyed one. We still have like three more. And this, kids, is why you try not to have a fuel crisis. Because you run into predicaments like this. Also, I like how the almost entire South American continent wants to kill me. It's funny. I find it funny. How's it going over here, by the way, with the... Wow, the Chinese... 
we won that. Tisk tisk. I am disappoint. What the fuck is that? How do you? Finally, there we go. I'll let them. I don't even know. Do stuff. I guess. I don't know. I really want to take Guatemala, but I know that taking Guatemala is going to be like. These units are out of fuel completely. This is going to be bad if we have to war Mexico with these units. Because, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, we will. Unless they move. Let's just declare one Guatemala, whatever. We'll take Guatemala slowly. Move my men to the capitals. Mexican invaders immediately. I can invade them through a colony of mine, which technically is a strategy, and all of you being like, you're border hopping, shut the fuck up. It's a fucking strategy. Technically speaking, this works. This is a legitimate strategy that the game allows you to take full advantage of, even if it's completely stupid. Oh, hush. Where? Oh. So they basically have taken that fucking island while well, they're trying to take the island. are there. That's a good 20 plus ships. Oh well, I've successfully taken the world. Mexicans! Shh, let's war them. Let's fight the random Mexican ar ar armada that's sitting there for no real reason at all. Holy shit. A lot of fucking units against just the Mexicans. No kind of bad for them. Eh, not really. Come on, you lazy punks. We have a war to fight. Cavalry, yeah, but look at all the fucking Mexicans. Dear Jesus. Nah, we're fine. If we had more fuel, we'd be definitely fine, but, you know. Oh, by the way. Holy shit. Never mind, actually. I don't care about that small fucking village. Let's just take over the Mexicans there. But in a full movement. Oh yeah, the 
That's right, the uh, British actually lost to Hungary and Italy. I forgot about that. Like, where are the British in all of this mess? But the only superpower left in the world is the United States and uh, me at this point. And superpower standards at any rate. Damn it, Mexico. To kill off their units. They're killing a lot of mine. The thing is, is it's, it's kind of funny, is that if I actually had, like, fuel, I would be at Mexico City by this point. But I don't have fuel. And that kid's just why drugs, drugs are bad. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. It just happened, actually. I'm not even sure. Ah, fuck, they're out of, uh, supply. Treat. more of the Mexican militia. Though, after this wave, I think we've killed them all. Although they're killing a good number of us. Come on, fellas. Gotta pull your weight. There's only 346 of you left. At this point, it's sad because I'm clearly the more powerful uh, entity here, but because I have such a fuel shortage, they actually have a fighting chance with their army of elite guys, who actually move kind of quickly. Funny. I might actually lose because of the Mexicans. I'm going to end this episode here, though, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.